command authenticated. Stand by for Titan Fall. What is up guys, it's Ricky with Rapscan Gaming coming at you with some more Titanfall gameplay and I'm very, very excited to bring this video to you guys today. So, Titanfall just announced, if you did not know last week, their first DLC map pack called Expedition. It's going to feature three maps and a whole slew of customization options for your Titans such as your own custom decals and things of that nature so it's really exciting stuff and i cannot wait to see what all this stuff is going to be in detail so today they actually released some information and screenshots of the first of the three maps that are going to be in expedition which is called war games coming from halo 4 i already like the sound of this map war games never fails so what we're actually looking at right here is a overview picture of the map itself kind of a layout to get you familiar with how the map actually feels and I'm really, really excited for War Games because it's done something with a map that I have never seen done before in any video game. Like in Halo, you'll have map remakes of previous Halo titles such as Countdown, you'll see Forge remakes, and even Pitfall like in Halo 4 when they did the remake of The Pit from Halo 3. But what Titanfall has actually done is they have incorporated three maps that are pre-existing in Titanfall and the training simulator that you're watching here all in together in one map. And I find that so cool and I'm really excited to see what Respawn is going to do with it. Now, when I was playing the training simulator when I first popped in Titanfall, I really loved the way that this map looked. It honestly reminded me a lot of Portal, and I really like immediately wanted to play a map that resembled this. The way that the smooth white mixed in with the dark, like glowing orange, and then like the industrial feel of the map as well is what they did perfectly with this map here. Here's actually a screenshot of the new map War Games. Now, one really cool thing I like about the map is you're actually gonna be able to wall run on those orange lights there, and you'll see the wall on this screenshot here as well that goes on the outer perimeter of the map you will also be able to wall run on that how freaking cool is that that's one of the things that i'm really really excited for is the fact that respawn recognizes what makes their game strong and what makes it stand out and they just push it to the max with this map here one of the things that they say they strive for is they want this map to feel like a parkour playground and i just can imagine it being exactly that the reason I believe that is because one of the three maps that I mentioned earlier is going to be Rise. In my opinion, one of the best parkour maps in Titanfall, hands down. I literally have spent entire matches just running around in the top up here and didn't even shoot a single person. That's how fun the parkour in Rise is. So here we can take a look at the screenshot of the Rise inspired portion of the War Games map. The section here that we're looking at is a death tunnel, you could say. Like the Titans can go in here, but there's only one way in and one way out. So you can easily get trapped in there by other Titans or get rodeoed by pilots, as you can see the guy up there on the wall. Another reason I'm extremely excited about this parkour playground is because the second map that's going to be incorporated into War Games is Angel City, which as you can see here has some of the best parkour in the entire game of Titanfall. I swear, like, once I think I have this map figured out with all the different parkour routes in it, I find, like, ten more. Like, seriously, there's so many different combinations you can do in this map, it's ridiculous. But if you think the awesomeness stops there, you get to play the Angel City portion of the map at night. So how freaking cool is that? Like, it reminds me of Halo 3 ODST, like, that really dark, noir vibe. And I seriously can't wait to play this map. Now... The third and final map that's going to be incorporated into War Games is this map here, Airbase. Now, I really like Airbase because of it's got these nice open lanes for the Titans, but you also have plenty of parkour routes for your pilots. And that's one thing I'm really excited for is because not only is War Games going to be a parkour playground, as Respawn calls it, but it's also going to be very great for competitive LTS or Last Titan Standing. And that's one of my favorite things. Coming as a Halo player, I really enjoy the Titan gameplay. And to have a map that's going to feature both the great parkour elements of Titanfall and the Titan gameplay itself is something that I cannot help but get crazy hyped for. Oh, I've never seen that before. <laughs> oh my god. So here we can see the screenshot of the airbase portion of the War Games map. So as we can see, there are some specters and looks to be a Marvin there in a garage type area like the one in airbase itself. So like I said, I'm really hyped for this map pack and this is only the first of the three maps that are going to be coming out in this new Titanfall DLC exhibition. 
So let me know what you guys think about the maps. Are you hyped for it? Are you just meh? Me personally, I cannot wait to play this. And by the way, speaking of airbase, have you guys noticed how much Skyline looks like airbase from Titanfall down here? How cool would it be if Halo and Titanfall were in the same universe? That'd be sick, right? But yes, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a like. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Rap Skyline!